Just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mall. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. Yes, it's a red and black mammoth box, but the model inside is not a mammoth model. It's a Fawn Goliath 8x8 truck in the colours of ALE. ALE stands for Abnormal Load Engineering, which is a UK company that Mammut took over. Size does matter, but this is a smaller box. And if we look underneath, we see it's made by IMC Models and has the Mammut number 410279. We quickly drive it to the Cranes Etc. Weighbridge, where it comes in at £1.7, ounces, which is 660 grams. And that gives a clue that this is not a die cast model, it is made of resin. Sliding off the sleeve, we see that the model comes in a Perspex display case. And to display it properly, we need to remove some of the stuff that's inside. The lid is taped on, so if we undo that, we can then lift one end of it. And then we can take out some of the things that are inserted into the lid. That includes a small booklet about the real truck. And there's also a plastic former, which is there to protect the model during shipping. Last out is a Mammut collector card, and then we can lower back the lid, and the model is then ready for display. Included with the model is a Mammut collector card, and this model is number 10 of 500. The booklet tells the story of this historic truck, and three of them were originally built in the late 1980s. So this model does represent historic haulage. These trucks were particularly designed to move heavy loads such as transformers. And this booklet contains many good photos and describes the history of these trucks. Starting with the display case and it's made of Perspex and it's of decent quality with just a moulding burr at the top. If we take the top off we can get a closer look at the model and to begin with a nice touch is that there's a numbered plate on the base so that gives it improved collectability. The front of the truck looks great with the Goliath name on top and a really nice mesh grille. There's also a realistic number plate. Other details include an STGO sign and big chevron bumpers. The towing hitch is a complex arrangement. An exceptional detail is the hand railing, which is very thin. And the high detail is one of the advantages of a resin model. You can also see that in the modelled equipment at the front. And the silvered mirror is also really good and is just like a real mirror. Looking on top of the bonnet and there's a finely crafted intake. And the windscreen wipers are also realistically thin. There are very good textured surfaces on the walkways. And perhaps the only detail that's missing is some branding on the sidewalls of the tyres. Moving to the side of the cab, it also looks great. The quality of the graphics is excellent. And there's another very thin grab rail. The door handles are finely detailed. And the etched exhausts are also impressive. On the roof there's a beacon light bar and the structure of the roof is also modelled. The steps leading up to the platform behind the cab have a great texture and there's more walkway surfacing on top. Some of the grab rails in this area are slightly thicker. There's a winch mounted behind the cab and you can see that the exhaust stack has a good looking hole at the top. Additional equipment includes a spare wheel and a gantry for lifting it off. And you can see the tyre has a nice tread pattern. On the opposite side, alongside the spare, is some more equipment. And then on the back is the impressive ballast box. The tie downs for the tarpaulin top look very realistic. And the graphics decoration, including the ALE name and logo, is very sharp. Tiny lights are modelled along the edge. And the rear wheels also have very good detailing. 
Things look especially good at the back, where the high quality details provide a busy appearance. There are more excellent graphics and another complex towing hitch. The model is intended to be displayed inside its case, but if you are very careful it is possible to remove it. And obviously if you do this it's at your own risk. There are three screws underneath the base, and it's a fairly straightforward task to unscrew them and remove them. The model is obviously delicate, so you need to be careful how you hold it as you remove the base. This then gives you the opportunity to display the model either on its own or in a diorama. It is good to see that the model is very detailed even on the underside. Each axle is driven on this 8x8 truck and the various drive shafts and differentials are all modelled. The tyres are very detailed although it looks like the same tyre pattern is used on each axle. And even though it's a resin model, you can spin all of the wheels. So let's give it a run out on the test track. And this big fawn truck rolls very smoothly. This is a resin model, so let's weigh it. And it comes in just under 8 ounces, or 220 gramlets. This is an impressive model of a historic heavy haulage truck by IMC Models. It is a resin model which does give it the advantage of its very high detail and some of it is exceptional compared to a diecast model. You can also display it as a standalone model in a diorama and in reality on display you can't tell whether it's diecast or resin. So if you want a great display piece this model is excellent.